To Red Dead Redemption 2. In the last episode, we lost poor Sean McGuire. <laughs> poor boy's gone. But in this episode, we're gonna be finishing up chapter 3. This will probably be a short episode, because I think we only got this mission. <clears throat> but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Find that boy. What do you mean? Have you seen that boy? Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God, right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him! Rest of you, let's ride! Okay. Oh yeah, one of my favorite missions in the whole game, because the whole fucking gang is out. <laughs> Not everybody, but just about. Yeah, Bill. You don't fuck with the Vanderlyn gang. Who the hell's behind us? Come on, Lenny. Double barrel, Lancaster, yep, it knows. Although, I think... Yeah, because my the condition of my double action is shit right now. I'm gonna get my cattleman. How's the condition on the other two? Well, the condition for this one is shit. Yeah, let me clean my gun! We're about to attack the fucking Braithwaite's. Get this done, John. You sure you're okay? 
I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let Oh, yeah. Look at all of us. Oh yeah. Yeah, come on. your back Dutch Need the rifle. That won't be necessary, John. Ah, oh, one of the best missions in the game. Of course, I could say that about any mission in this game. Coming from the right, I got you. Side, I'll get the right. Come on, there we go. Me to kill you 
two old woman. You bastards. Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except by Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common skull. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? Now let's get this hag out of time. Got more of her sons to deal with. No, reckon they're all dead. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Gonna work out, John. Gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll she kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man so in love with greed he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? 
Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vandalin. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house, hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. Hey. Okay, hold on. Can I take that waypoint off? I'm tired of it being there. Neither of you are, sir. What are you talking about? Last time we came here, I didn't bring you inside.
sorry. Don't feel like that. I don't feel like doing that. Shut up. <laughs> he was going to give a big old speech, but I didn't feel like hearing it. What is this? I already got one of those. an alligator. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I can do with the rest of the body. You go meet up with the caravan. Got them in. Gotta clean up the bodies. Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Where are we going, Dutch? Yeah. 
between us and all of this. To mess with those two families, losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed that paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Oh, yeah. Doing now, Dutch. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter 4, Saint Denis, and that's where we'll end things. No horses are available. Fuck yeah. We got anything else to read here? Doesn't look like it. Nope. But that's it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned until the next video. As always, have a good one, folks. Bye.